Humans and AI have seamlessly merged, resulting in a world where flesh and bones are extinct. The human body, once governed by organic matter, now operates with mechanical precision. Muscles and bones have given way to biomechanical components. Our once biological brains have evolved into intricate neural networks, capable of seamless integration with the digital realm. With a mere thought, individuals access information, communicate, and immerse themselves in virtual experiences. Visual customization and instant skill acquisition empower people to mold themselves into whoever they desire in a matter of nanoseconds. Society has undergone a complete transformation, with formerly organic humans now fully digitized. However, this utopia of limitless possibilities raises questions about societal competition. With everyone possessing extraordinary abilities, will celebrities still matter? And crime still prevails as beneath the polished cityscape, hidden in the shadows lie gangs, black markets, and illicit trades. The arsenal includes stealth and infiltration modules, skill theft technologies, and unregistered neural upgrades. Even in this advanced society, challenges persist. Before delving into these issues, it's imperative to understand the structure of this new digitized world. In this advanced era, humans have undergone remarkable transformations. Their physical forms enhanced through synthetic means. With a mere thought or gesture, individuals can modify every aspect of their appearance, from skin color to intricate hairstyles, even adopting cheetah print patterns. Sensory enhancements have created an awe-inspiring experience. Individuals can perceive a broader spectrum of colors, from ultraviolet to infrared. Hearing extends far beyond human limitations, and the sense of smell encompasses a wide array of odors. Taste has become a nuanced exploration of unimaginable flavors, and touch sensitivity reaches extraordinary levels, allowing for the perception of atomic vibrations. Biomechanical enhancements have liberated physical strength from natural constraints. People can effortlessly lift heavy objects, run at incredible speeds, leap great heights, and endure challenges that were once insurmountable. Enhanced limbs and neural interfaces grant precise control over these enhancements. And education has shifted to skill shops, where acquiring new abilities is instantaneous, turning learning into a commodity. A skill shop is a place where people can buy and sell skills. Skills are defined as any ability or knowledge that can be acquired through learning or practice. A skill shop operates by using a device called a skill injector. A skill injector is a machine that can transfer skills from one person to another or from a database to a person. The process is simple and painless. The person who wants to buy a skill pays a certain amount of credit, depending on the value and rarity of the skill. Then, they sit on a chair and connect their brain to the skill injector via neural interface. The skill injector scans their brain and identifies the areas that need to be modified or enhanced. Then, it injects the skill data into their brain, creating new neural pathways and connections. The person then wakes up with the new skill in their memory. The person who sells a skill also connects their brain to the skill injector. The skill injector copies their skill data and transfers it to the buyer's brain. The seller does not lose their skill in the process, but they receive compensation and credits for sharing their skill. A skill shop can also access a database of skills that have been collected or created by experts or researchers. These skills are usually more expensive and exclusive than those offered by individuals. In this society, the economy centers around skill transactions, where citizens earn and use credits for skill upgrades, creating a continuous cycle of personal and professional growth. The value of a skill depends on its rarity, complexity, usefulness, and popularity. Rare, complex, useful, and popular skills hold the highest value. For instance, a person with telekinesis can earn credits by using their skill for tasks like construction, transportation, or entertainment. These credits can be spent on acquiring other skills like mind reading, flying, or hacking. An exclusive skill that only the elite can afford is mind reading. 
prized for its rarity, complexity, usefulness, and popularity, particularly among politicians. It demands a significant credit investment, high neural compatibility, and rigorous training for effective and ethical use. It provides advantages in communication, negotiation, and investigation, making it highly desirable. The currency in this society is credits, digital units of value that are earned through offering skills and services, or creating and selling skill-based content or products. Credits can be used to purchase skills and other goods and services from individuals. Credit regulation and control are managed by the Skill Bank, a central authority responsible for issuing, managing, and monitoring credits. The Skill Bank also establishes exchange rates and transaction fees. Additionally, it acts as a mediator and arbitrator for skill transaction disputes. For example, if a purchase skill does not meet expectations, the Skill Bank intervenes to resolve the issue by refunding credits, replacing the skill, or penalizing the seller. In the shadowy underworld of this society, individuals operate on the fringes of the skill economy. Many reject conformity to the system, resorting to illegal chips that enable covert skill theft, providing them with an advantage in evading authorities and executing devious operations. Gangs within this underground realm specialize in the theft and sale of rare or forbidden skills. Some go to great lengths, including hijacking encrypted skill databases, resulting in a thriving yet perilous black market. These outlaws expertly navigate both the digital and physical realms to avoid detection. For instance, a notorious gang known as the Binary Vipers has gained infamy for its actions against skill shops and skill injectors. They employ stealth and infiltration modules to bypass security systems and access skill data. The stolen skills are then either sold to the highest bidder or used for the gang's own purposes, all without leaving a trace of their presence. The criminal underworld leverages advanced technology to infiltrate secure networks, seeking valuable information and skills. Espionage is not limited to the theft of physical objects, but extends to obtaining coveted knowledge and abilities. Another notorious hacker group, the Data Divers, is renowned for infiltrating government and corporate servers. They employ hacking and decryption skills to breach firewalls and encryption protocols. Subsequently, they extract or manipulate data, revealing secrets and sowing chaos. Often, they leak or sell this data to the public or other parties, leading to scandals and conflicts. However, specialized agencies work diligently to curb the activities of these underground gangs, maintaining a precarious balance in this digital society. Governments play a pivotal role in regulating the digital society. They control access to specific skills, enforce skill standards, and maintain laws related to skill usage. Skill licenses are compulsory, ensuring individuals operate within legal boundaries. Specialized government agencies oversee and control skills, investigating illegal skill trade, identifying those with unauthorized enhancements, and preserving order in the digital realm. Prisons exist within virtual landscapes designed to confine skilled offenders, and these prisons feature ever-changing surreal environments to prevent escapes. The Skill Security Service is an agency responsible for safeguarding the skill economy and society. They employ surveillance and detection skills to monitor and locate suspicious activities and individuals. The agency uses combat and interrogation skills to apprehend and question suspects, with the authority to confiscate or disable any illegal or unregistered skills. Governments also invest in national skill initiatives to enhance citizens' overall capabilities. This includes funding research for cutting-edge skills, promoting education, and creating incentives for individuals to contribute to the nation's skill pool. One such initiative is the Skill Development Project, focuses on improving the quality and quantity of skills in the country. It centers around establishing physical and virtual centers where citizens can enhance and upgrade their skills, fostering a sense of community and collaboration among skill users. The government has heavily invested in space exploration, leveraging the capabilities of biomechanical humans to make survival in space relatively easy. Astronauts can now adapt to the challenges of space through instant skill acquisition, allowing them to handle unforeseen obstacles. 
Space colonies thrive, benefiting from a diverse range of skills that contribute to their sustainability. A team known as the Space Explorers excels in astrobiology and engineering. They utilize their skill in manipulating light and organic matter to discover and study new forms of life in outer space. Additionally, they design and construct habitats and structures for space colonization. The team has also mastered solo travel to and from distant exoplanets using the speed of light skill, often traveling aboard light trains. The military has adapted to the digitized era, creating augmented soldiers with a focus on combat skills, strategic thinking, and adaptability. They can instantly acquire mission-specific skills into their neural implants. Take the Cyber Commandos, for instance, known for their expertise in hacking and decryption. Their training includes initial neural enhancements for faster information processing and heightened intuition during cyber operations. Subsequently, they engage in extensive virtual reality simulations, honing hacking skills, and adapting to dynamic digital environments. Live cyber drills expose them to real-world challenges, including defending against simulated cyber attacks and executing precise hacking maneuvers. The era isn't limited to cyber warfare. Physical battles also occur, where soldiers utilize skills to enhance their weaponry and tactics. The arsenal of war has evolved, featuring advanced weaponry such as drones, lasers, nanobots, and bioweapons. In this age, there's a powerful weapon known as the EMP Pulse Cannon, a possession of the Dominion Cybernetic Authority of Neo-Korea. These biomechanical cannons emit electromagnetic pulses, EMPs, capable of disabling electronic systems, posing a threat to digitized beings, and even continents. The mech warriors from China are renowned for their skills in telepathy and manipulating objects with their minds. They employ these skills to create and control powerful machines capable of land, air, or sea warfare. They also excel in machine modification, repair, and rapid hacking or destruction of enemy machines. The digitized era has reshaped global alliances and rivalries. Countries have formed coalitions based on shared skills and interests, while conflicts arise due to skill imbalances or disputes. The Skill Alliance stands out as an agreement among several nations to exchange skills for mutual benefit and security, serving as a future counterpart to NATO. However, one of the Skill Alliance's main adversaries is Zidonia, a nation with a secretive skill, mind control, with the potential to manipulate thoughts and actions on a massive scale. The Skill Alliance is aware of this skill, but struggles to counter it effectively. They are diligently working on developing a skill to resist or block mind control. Though progress is slow and uncertain, the fear looms that Zidonia might employ its skill to initiate a global conflict or seize control. Confronting a state of emergency in this era presents a stark contrast to previous challenges. A deadly virus has infiltrated the digitized society, specifically targeting biomechanical humans. This virus triggers malfunctions and fatalities, spreading rapidly and with unpredictable patterns. It's a weapon of mass destruction, crafted by a rogue hacker group with the intent to eradicate digitized humanity as it exists. The virus has incited widespread panic and chaos among biomechanical humans who live in fear of losing their lives and loved ones. Additionally, the virus has brought the skill economy and society to a standstill, as many services and skills rely on biomechanical humans. In response to this crisis, a coalition of nations has been formed, focusing on the exchange of skills related to virus prevention, detection, and treatment. The coalition faces a race against time, given that the virus is programmed to self-destruct after infecting a predetermined number of hosts, leaving no trace of its origin or purpose. The fate of the digitized society now teeters on a precipice, as the coalition and the Global Skill Council grapple to thwart the virus's devastating impact before it annihilates everything they have constructed. The pivotal question remains, will they succeed in safeguarding biomechanical humans, or will they bear witness to their extinction?